Hello friends, I am architect Sonu Rai from Green Landscape and Architectural Design Studio, Red Studio and in the last video tutorial we saw how to draw uh, basic railings in Revit architecture and today I am going to discuss about some railing and bolstered settings in Revit. So I am going to my architecture tab and I am going to uh, uh, my railing profile and I am going to sketch a railing file simple railing so i am going to draw a small railing here and let's finish this i am going to my preview and this is our railing profile and i am going to convert this to a dot rail pipe and Drill, handrail pipe. I am going to convert this to handrail pipe. So uh, we will see better in our realistic view. So this is uh, a, a simple railing which uh, is by default in Revit. So I am going to setting of this uh, profile and uh, you can see here in properties that base level is at level 1. If you want to give offset from floor you can give or you can leave it default and I'm going to this edit type and in edit type this is uh, properties of railing uh, you can change many settings here so first we need to understand the basics this is uh, it, you can duplicate it here in rename and uh, this is construction of rail structure you can uh, uh, edit this railing from here edit type and baluster placement you can edit from here. So we'll go to this uh, here in this top rail. If you want to use top rail, you can use or you can uncheck this and you can finish this. Then you can see your top, top rail is missing. So likewise, we can uh, do many settings. And if you want to increase the height from here, you can uh, make it four feet also. Hit apply. And you can increase the railing height. So the standard height is 900 mm or 3 feet. So and you can change the rail type here also. It is circular. If you want to change, uh, you can click it once here. And uh, it is showing a uh, default joint is meter. So what do you mean that this meter is some um, like orthographic joints? Uh, and uh, in this there is one. Fillet joint, so fillet will be curved. So we'll understand that this is meter. I'm going to select this fillet and it is asking fillet radius. So I'm going to give it one fit here. And uh, rest uh, profile will leave it uh, default. And uh, I'm going to finish this apply. So you can see this uh, corners have become curved in shape. So this is a uh, fillet joints and uh, by default it is a meter joint. So uh, again I am going to edit type and now we will go to this uh, circular type and uh, now you can change the material from here. Material and finishes you can if you want to give any other uh, material like suppose I want, I want some metal finish so i will go to uh, my material and i can change create new material and go to asset browser and you can select any uh, metal color here this is just to understand and you can uh, give this chrome polished and you can apply this material So uh, if you render this, you will see the settings. If you want to apply different color also, you can uh, apply different colors. So again, I am going to my edit type and uh, I will minimize all uh, this and I am selecting this. And again, I am going to this top rail type and we will do some more adjustment. You come coming here, this is extension beginning bottom extension style. So what is the meaning of this extension style is how we want to finish this. Suppose I am going to select here uh, post 
and I am giving the post length uh, one fit six inches. So you can watch here what changes are getting done here, and you can see this is one fit six inches. This joint will be finished if you are drawing on a staircase or like that or anything. So this will be finished like this. Uh, it will be one fit six inches from this last post. And it will be like this. So I am going to uh, again like this. I'm going to edit type again top rail circular. And uh, now we'll go to change this from post to wall. I am going to make it wall. So you can see it will go one fit six inches towards wall. So uh, likewise, we can do uh, simple settings and. Uh, not that much difficult if you click one by one and understand the tools you will clearly uh, understand this so likewise they, these are the settings you can uh, do in this so now we'll go back now this is our first uh, settings uh, like system family handrail pipe and uh, after this this is handrail settings and, uh, and this is the height settings here and this is type where we went to what this is to fill it you want to again back to meter and make it meter and it will be in a rectangular orthographic shapes and fillet is a curve shape so now uh, we are coming to our rail structure non-continuous setting this is uh, means railing settings and this is vertical members are called uh, balusters or post and this is horizontal or railing so I am going to my rail structure edit type so you can see these are the default settings and uh, this is rail 1 2 3 4 5 and their respective height from the floor is given like 2 feet 6 inches 2 feet 1 feet 6 inches and, uh, and this is the circular handrail 1 inch 1 inch 1 inch this only all of these 1 2 3 4 5 are uh, one inch one two three four five so if you want to change anyone so i'm suppose i'm going to make it a uh, uh, rectangular handrail two inch by two inch and i'm going to apply okay apply and you can see there is change in our rail post so likewise we can do many settings here and uh, you can play and if you want to uh, in these settings uh, suppose if you want only two railings one and two and rest you want to delete you can simply click here on you know, numbers and you can uh, delete this delete this delete this i want only two rail post here so i'm going to apply okay apply and you can see only two railings are here rest are deleted so uh, again if you want to add you can uh, insert a new rail here and uh, rename it rail 3 and you can give the height so I am going to give this one fit and I am going to make it a uh, C-shape profile this is just printed stand again you can insert new profile and you can choose a uh, circular handrail and I am going to give this distance 1 feet 8 6 inches suppose and I am going to finish this ok apply ok so you can see uh, this is uh, CSF profile so uh, another railing is heading so we will change this I am going to rail structure and I am going to change this to circular 1 inch apply so you can understand clearly what I am trying to tell so you can see these are the settings in rail structure and uh, again you can do uh, many settings here and you can change the material also from here so uh, now i am going to this baluster placement the balusters are vertical elements so i am going to edit type and this is a regular baluster so one inch if you want to make it uh, other baluster type so you can uh, use this square two inch baluster and this is base base means from where it is going to draw from floor and host so host is your floor and uh, 
if you want to uh, where it is going to finish to top rail if you, i want to till top rail here if you want to uh, finish it at rail 2 i can select rail 2 and you can apply and you can hit ok apply so you can see it is on it till uh, rail 2 so likewise uh, if you understand one by one so you can easily understand this baluster so i am going to make uh, this also we need to change to make 3 feet 4 inches um, round 3 by 4 inches 3 by 4 inches this is a start post corner post and end post so uh, i will uh, make this uh, top rail elements that's why we are not able to visible and i'm going to apply okay apply okay so now this distance is two feet from each uh, uh, baluster the distance from behind it is two feet two feet two feet so likewise we can do this is top rail element so we need to select this again i'm going to edit type and you can uh, this is a start post means where is the baluster is going to start then corner post and the end post if, if you want you can change the balusters and you can change the settings from here uh, make sure this is top roll element and i want again this distance should be fit so i will make it four fit and then i will apply okay apply okay so again this distance has become four fit so uh, likewise these are the means settings uh, about balusters and uh, these are the start post means where the baluster is starting corner post and the end post and this is the regular bal baluster you can insert family also so i will show you how we will insert family in baluster so we will go to uh, our insert tab and I am going to load family here and uh, I will go to my English Imperial because I am uh, working in feet and inches if you are working in meter you would select English metric unit so I am going to select uh, railings here and in this there, there are balusters and uh, you can select any uh, baluster shape here suppose I am going to select this balusters and I am going to this is post nivel so we we'll, you should remember the name i am going to open it and uh, now we will try to uh, insert if you want to save the, your project you can save and uh, now i will again select this edit type we will go to our baluster placement and now i will search for start post and i am going to make this post newel 4 1 by 4 inches 6 1 by 4 inches you can select any one i am going to select this 4 1 by 4 inches and i am going to select this apply start post ok apply ok so you can see this is the start post so you can easily understand which is uh, end post this is the start of the uh, railing this is mid one so likewise we can do settings then going to again edit type baluster placement and now this is corner post so again i am going to make this nivel ok apply and this is corner post and this is the will be end post so you can likewise you can change this to 4 1 by 4 inches apply ok apply so this end post is also Newell post so likewise we can do uh, many changes in balusters and uh, again i am going to the edit type of this baluster and i am going to make this regular balusters to some other uh, like i am going to make this also uh, 4 and 1 by 4 inches and distance i will leave like this 4 feet only and i am going to apply okay apply so uh, you can see how easy is this to understand but uh, you have to select one by one and understand these settings which are the means uh, 
like star post in wall star corner post also and post also so you, you will select one by one and you can easily understand which is the star post in uh, here and corner post here and end post here and which is the regular baluster these are the regular baluster so this is the uh, settings and in the next video tutorial i will teach you how to make uh, your customized railings and balusters in revit so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel thanks